Hey YouTube, what is up? It is Mr. Hino, and I'm going to show you how to uh, measure the height of something uh, without having to really measure the item, but we can use proportions. And it's a cool little project. All you need is something to you know, act as the item that you want to find the height for, and some rulers, or you can even use a yardstick. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to measure the height of this box just to show you that this really does work. Okay, so if I take these rulers, whoops, backwards. Okay, there's 12 inches. And, man, did backwards again. 12 inches plus, oh, sorry about the shadow. If you can see this, this is going to be 12 inches plus three inches plus another quarter. So this is 15 and one fourth inches tall. I'm going to show you how we can use these rulers and the sun and proportions to prove that this box is 15 and one fourth inches tall. Let's go get started. Okay, I am outside and you're going to need something pretty level, like a level ground. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to hold this ruler as straight up as I can. And because I'm kind of doing this with one hand and holding my camera, what I want to do is move this until the shadow, if you can see the shadow, I'm going to try to stop it right where it gets to that crack so I can measure this perfectly. So right now I'm holding it up and you can see that the shadow is going all the way to that crack and you need to make sure you're holding this uh, ruler as straight up as you can. Obviously if you tilt it, your, your measurement's going to be a little off. So I'm going to basically put this ruler down now. I'm going to, my goal is to measure the shadow and see how many inches long the shadow is. So you can see that it goes all the way to the crack. So what I'm going to do is just measure it from here to the crack. So here we go. I'm going to put the ruler down. There's 12 inches. And 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, and you know, this is going to take some guesstimating. You can't be totally perfect. So we have 12, 11, I mean, sorry, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm going to say 19 inches. We're guesstimating. So the ruler's shadow is 19 inches long. Let's go back to the class. Okay, so here's what we know. We know that the ruler, I'll, I'll do R for ruler. We know that the ruler is 12 inches high, and we know, and I'll put an S for shadow. Sorry if I'm creating shadows on the paper. We know that the shadow is 19 inches long. So here's how we're gonna use a proportion to really prove that this box is 15 and a quarter inch high. What we're gonna do now is using proportions, I will go outside and measure the shadow that the box is creating, use proportions, and hopefully we can prove that the box is 15 and 1 fourth inches high. Let's go back out. Okay, here we are outside. I have my box, my rulers, and you can see it's creating a shadow. You have to kind of be careful when you measure these things because if you wait too long, the shadow is obviously going to be different than what you did with the ruler. So here we go, I have my box. We're going to go ahead and measure this. And notice I stopped at the crack, so I'm going to measure from this box to the crack. And what I want to do is kind of where I, where I start measuring, I'm going to measure right from the middle, midpoint. midpoint of the box and it goes pretty close to the crack I don't know if you can see that so that's a that looks like a little over 24 inches I'm gonna say 24 and a half so one more time the ruler starts at the middle of the box one ruler 
two rulers, so that's 24 inches, and the crack looks like it might be another half inch more. So we're gonna go with 24 and a half inches. Let's go back in class and do the math. Okay, so we are back in class. Um, again, the box, the box of shadow was 24 and a half inches. And you might be wondering, why did I put this 24.5 at the bottom? Because again, it needs to match uh, with what we did before. So if this is the shadow, the shadow has to go down at the bottom here. So if you've seen my previous videos on uh, solving a proportion, okay, and that's going to be the height of the box. And we're going to go ahead and use the algebraic method to solve for this. And hopefully we get close to 15. We said 15 and one fourth inches high. So let's go ahead and do our, our math. Uh, let's set, we're going to go ahead and uh, cross multiply. So 19 times n is 19n. I'll use my calculator for this next part. So we're going to go ahead and multiply uh, diagonally here. So 24.5 times 12. And we get 294. Okay, and using uh, this uh, solving equations, we're going to divide both sides by 19. So that frees up our n. We'll divide this side by 19. And hopefully we're looking for that number, like we said, near 15 and 1 fourth, or 15.25. Let's see how close we can get. Now remember, all of this is, is very, um, it's not totally accurate. Um, where you're working with shadows, you're working with time, and you're working with, you know, making sure everything, you can measure everything right. So hopefully let's work this out. Hopefully we can get close. So 200, 294 divided by 19. And check this out. 15.4. And if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, maybe 15.5. So that was pretty close. That was pretty close to the 15.25 that we were looking at. So what did we just prove? We proved we can measure the height of something using proportions. So again, we measured this box. It was 15.25 inches high. We, uh, you know, we solved this strictly using measurement and shadows and the sun, and we get 15.5. That's pretty close. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that was fun and neat and, and a way to prove that proportions can be used to solve the height of something. Thank you and bye-bye.